we did really economically. I, I like to, I hate waste and um, I like to be resourceful. So we did it for, um, it'd be under 500,000. So it was a really, really economical movie. AFM, it's been overwhelming. <laughs> um, it's just, yeah, there's just so many people here. And um, it's, yeah, and everybody, um, everybody looks like they came out of a, an American movie. So, <laughs> so and, and it's funny how the scenes in America look like, you know, you think that for the movies and that, that they're not, you know, that they're sets and whatever, but they're actually very, this is exactly what it looks like. I'd like to sort of um, network, meet meet people. Um, we'd love to do a co-production with somebody. Um, we'd love to make, you know, have like an, be an Australian arm to a, a company over here or to a production company or, or do something together. I've got a lot of other projects in the pipeline that we've started. We've Both movies, first La, The Love by Prescription and Strong Men, have got two sequels that have already been written for each. So we'd love to get somebody on board to help us... Um, Probably financially would be would be wonderful too if we could get some some finance behind it. Um, yeah, somebody to distribute our films. Um, we'd love them to be um, distributed over here or anywhere else in the world. Everybody uh, in Australia, there's not much help for you know like there's not much help, and there's not too many filmmakers. I mean, all our talent, as you'd notice, comes over here, um, so nobody really stays in Australia. So you're a little bit isolated, I think. So, um, and over here, um, maybe it's, it, it, I mean, it helps that I've, the only times I've been to America, it's always been for film, film events, so I guess I'm always mixing with those kind of people, but there just seems to be so many of them. And everybody, um, everybody's been in the industry for so long. Like, everybody will say that I've been doing this for 20 years, or, you know, like they were born to be in films. And, and I kind of feel like a little bit of an imposter, really, because I just accidentally fell into films and you know everybody says oh how long have you been making films for or writing books for and you know it's not been long at all we wanted to give it an international taste at, at one stage though we almost had we, we almost had um an american actor um an english we almost didn't have any australians in in the main roles so you know that was a bit of a you know we thought well that's going to be a bit unusual um because we had like an english person and somebody else so you know the american actor an english guy an irish person an irish an english and an american and i thought well we really need to have an australian in there we kept having um some really exciting people coming on board that were almost in the movie but we had a lot of challenges trying to get everybody's time schedules to fit uh we had um Heath Ledger's cousin actually was one of um, one of the guys that we were hoping to be in the movie, and he was very interested in the script. And um, he was a little bit young though, but he looked a lot older, and he actually looks exactly like like Heath Ledger. With after AFM, I'm going to um, Oxacia in Mexico for the film festival over there. Um, we're first love with Love by Prescriptions being selected um, in that film festival. Um, it's also been selected for another another as a finalist for another um, screenplay competition called the film filmmaker break I do love the movie industry it's fun and exciting it's challenging um, and it's not it's not a piece of cake like everybody thinks it's so it's you know very easy and everything else but um, but it is it is where I'd like to be